Hey guys, we're gonna do some almond milk now. So these almonds have been soaked overnight. We're gonna do a one cup of almond to three cups of water ratio and blend it up. So we've done a three cup almond to nine cup of water and we're gonna blend it up. So you may have to blend it for 30 seconds, you may have to do it for a minute. Just depends on how good your blender is. Mine's a ninja, it's one of the better ones, I would say, so I you know, only did it for about 30, 35 seconds maybe. So typically, what you would want to do next is put it into a milk bag. We don't have a milk bag, so I'm just going to strain it through a couple of regular old metal strainers. It's going to be a makeshift setup like this. We'll see in just a second. We're just going to try to get it straight in there. Like I said, a milk bag is the best way to do it, but I do not have one, so we will work with what we got. Just do a little bit until we get it all the way up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop about there. I'm going to take a rubber spatula. I'm just going to squeeze some of that almond milk out. I'll squeeze all this out. I'll take this out, get rid of it. I'll actually save it because you can actually take this stuff and make it into like a, um, you know, a bread or um, you know muffins or stuff, something along those lines. So you don't want to throw that away. This is the pulp that was left. I'm actually thinking I might uh, dry this out and make a sort of almond bar or maybe almond shortbread with it. It would be pretty awesome. So this is the almond milk that's left over. So the one thing to remember is that, of course, because we didn't use a milk bag, there is going to be a little bit of pulp in here. Um, if you like... Um, a more creamy consistency, you don't really like pulp, all that kind of stuff, you can definitely get the milk bag, that'll take care of it. Um, again, I didn't have one, so I just did it this way. Um, I might go get a, a milk bag later today, and I can still strain this through it, and, uh, you know, help develop its creaminess, but in the meantime, we're going to put just a little bit of vanilla extract in it, which maybe like, maybe three teaspoons. And then I'm going to add some maple syrup for some sweetness. Maybe about half a cup. Maybe a little more. I don't, uh, I don't like to measure things. I typically just like to add stuff until my ancestors tap on the back of my shoulder and say, that's enough, my child. So we'll take this, shake it up, mix it. Got that beautiful almond vanilla coloring that we all know. That's it.